Hey guys, it's Kim F. KeepItMovingFitness.com. Today we're doing total body toning plus core. This workout is about 7 or 8 minutes, a little less than 10 minutes here. We're using no equipment and there's no cardio here, but we're going to burn a lot of calories while we build muscle. Each move in this workout is about one minute long, but feel free to add some minutes if you need a little bit more of a challenge or if you're just starting out, you can go less than a minute. Just choose whatever time really challenges you and start there. So I want you to grab your mat, grab some water in your body and a towel if you need it and get ready to feel the burn. This first exercise, we're going to work our lower body. We're going to come down into a, a double squat and kick up working our um, abdominal muscles. I want you to squat and kick on the left side and then switch sides, squat and kick. Kick, kick and come back down. Squat, right side, squat, other side, <laughs> double squat and breathe. One, kick, down, kick, down twice and breathe. Really squeezing that butt on the way down and engaging your abs the entire time. You do this motion for about a minute, taking a break if you need it, but challenge yourself. So next we're gonna go into a lunge and a backwards kick to work the gluteus maximus and turning to the front um, to work your torso and your abs. So you're gonna do a double lunge and then a turn on one side for about 30 seconds. And then for the remaining 30 seconds, you're gonna switch sides, double lunge and turn other side. So try to get that back leg up as far as you can to really work those muscles in your butt. <laughs> Keeping your back leg at a 90 degree angle, keep your front leg behind that big toe and breathe. Double lunge, kick, and twist. Lunge, kick back, and twist. A few more seconds here. So next we're gonna really work your obliques and get that uh, oblique crunch and a side kick working your legs and your stomach at the same time. So I want you to do oblique crunch, kick out to the side on each side. Put some power and some force into it. Try to keep your balance, but go as fast as you like or as slow as you need. And every time you kick out, I want you to breathe out. So crunch, kick, power kick. Nice. And really kick harder than I'm kicking here. I don't have much force. <laughs> crunch. Kick out. Keep your body facing forward while you crunch and kick out. Crunch and kick out. Good. So now we're going to use our famous plank motion. I want you to crawl down to a plank. Continue to work your obliques. Put a push up in there and oblique on the other side. And entwine back up to a standing position and tippy toes for those calves. Again, crawling inchworm into a plank. If you're beginning, come on your knees. Still add that oblique. Push up. Other side. Come off your knees. Inchworm back up to the top. And calves. If you're a little bit more advanced, come off your knees. Into a regular plank. Keep your hips down. Oblique one side, push up, oblique the other side, and walk back up, up to a standing position. And tippy toes for calves. It looks easy, but it is hard, I'm telling you. <laughs> I feel the burn. And make sure you keep that abs engaged. Your stomach should always be tight. Never hold your breath unless you're underwater swimming. And 
back up to the top. Probably time for one more. Inch firm to a plank, hips down, oblique one side, push up, oblique the other side, inch firm back up, standing position. So now we're going to work those legs. Want your legs as far as wide as you can get, feet pointed outward, double pause and squeeze those buttocks at the top. Breathing out when you come up. Squat, squat, slow come up and breathe, squeezing your butt at the top. Slow and control movement, slow down, slow up. Good. Make sure you breathe, engaging your abs, feet pointed out as far as you can get them, legs wide apart, and breathe. Nice. So for the next move, we're going to work our arms. Really want you to come on the edge of the couch. Elbow straight back behind you. One leg lifted. If you're just starting out, you can keep both legs on the ground. But make sure your abs are engaged. And breathe. You can do 30 seconds on one side or one minute on one side and do the same amount of time on the other side. Just make sure you keep both sides equal, whatever you choose to do. If you need a break like I need a break here, shake it out. Keep going. <laughs> Switch sides. Dip off the couch. Shake out your arms if you need to. Make sure your elbows are not going out to the side, but straight back instead. You'll work in the back of your arms, those triceps. You'll work in your core with your legs up. There's a little bit of leg muscle in there, so this is good for it all. So lastly, we're going to come on the mat and do some sit-ups, well, um, upper body sit-ups, and then lower body. I want you to come up and breathe out as you come up, and then take your legs out and push them in. You can do this with your arms up in the air, or you can lay them down on the ground for more support if you're just starting out. So come up into a full sit-up. Toes on the ground, breathing out, and then crunch using those lower abs at the end. If you haven't enough core strength to do the second part, just leave that out and just do um, crunches, full sit-ups. As long as you keep moving, that's all that matters. Just keep moving. Really. We're coming towards the end here. All right, good job, you guys. That was amazing workout. If you have enough time or if you have enough energy, press pause, stop, rewind, and do it all over again. You can always do this at the end of a cardio run or treadmill run, whatever. As long as you keep it moving, um, go to www.keepitmovingfitness.com for this breakdown and all the printable workouts that go with it. Okay, love you guys. Bye.